But in, so welcome to um, my training webinar, how to easily make six and seven figures a year doing joint ventures. Now I do um, regular uh, training um, webinars and my main topic of interest is joint ventures. I'm obviously known as a joint venture expert and that's what I specialize in. And that's what most of you coming onto this webinar will know me for. Um, I'm going to be covering some really, really cool stuff on this webinar. I do talk quite fast. So um, one thing, uh, if you want to take notes, um, don't take notes in terms of what you read on the slides. Uh, just a bit of advice on note taking. Take uh, notes and things that you have ideas for, like you've heard of the aha moments. So take those aha moments that you get from uh, this training and write them down on slides. Um, this webinar will be recorded. Um, so if I if my voice goes in and out, um, I apologize for that. I travel a lot, so you know I'm always sitting abroad somewhere in a hotel where the Wi-Fi is either good or not so great. So this will be recorded, and you'll all get a copy of this recording. Um, we will also have a Q&A at the end. So um, if you've got any questions, you're welcome to put the put them in the chat box um, uh, throughout the uh, the training. And um, I'll pick up them up at the end, and we'll go through a Q&A session at the end, because I'm sure you'll have loads of questions to ask me. Um, but like I said again, yes, this is being recorded, so um, uh, you will get a, a copy of the recording as well for those of you who are registered. Okay, so just a, a brief uh, background to myself. Um, I can see a lot of familiar names on the webinar. Uh, for those of you who know me, uh, thank you very much for turning up. And we have a lot of new people on here as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so first of all, who am I? Who is Sahel Khan? Um, if anyone's heard of Jay Abraham and Mark Goldman, Jay Abraham is one of my mentors. Um, they quoted me as a true rags to riches success story, just like Andrew Carnegie. And uh, we'll go through that, and I'll explain to you exactly why um, I was quoted that. Um, uh, another friend of mine, uh, a very well-known internet marketer called Jeff Mills, gave me the name The Master Connector. Uh, I've achieved over $20 million uh, personally using joint ventures. Uh, I'm an international speaker charging normally $15,000 a keynote speech um, when I go and speak internationally. I'm also the only Brit ever to be invited to speak about JVs in the US. Um, I'm possibly, I'd say, in the top two, three joint venture experts in the world. And obviously, number one is my mentor, Jay Abraham. Um, but yes, I'm the only Brit um, who's uh, an expert in this subject. And the only Brit, actually, who ever gets invited over to the US to speak about JVs, which is pretty cool. I'm also the creator of the Joint Venture Brokering Bootcamp, uh, my signature three-day um, training program for certified joint venture brokers and deal makers, and I'll talk more about that later. Uh, and I'm also the author of, uh, if you haven't picked it up by now, um, a book called Guerrilla Marketing and Joint Ventures, uh, which I wrote, uh, I co-authored with my late mentor, Jay Conrad Levinson, who passed away um, almost a year ago now. So here's what I'll be covering today. Uh, we'll talk about the real power of joint ventures, why I believe, and I still do to this day, that it's one of the most powerful business strategies that you can use uh, for anything. And I'm going to basically not only just go through it, but prove to you the things that you can do and the amazing things that you can do using joint ventures. Uh, we'll also go through the benefits of being a joint venture broker. This is what I do. This is how I primarily make my income, and uh, I've done extremely well from it. Uh, and I'll take you through exactly uh, what that entails. We'll also do some training on how you can actually go out and find targeted joint venture partners. And I'm going to show you some of the techniques that I teach my certified joint venture brokers to use to do this. Um, I'll also uh, teach you guys how to go out and the best way to contact joint venture partners to get them on board. We're also going to cover how to connect with millionaires and billionaires. Basically, people on a higher level, um, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that and how I do it and uh, how I get my brokers to do that also. We're also going to look at some real cool case studies of how I, myself, and my students have created six and seven figure joint ventures. And we'll also finally look at how to use social media, how to leverage social media to create some powerful joint venture partnerships. 
Now, here's what I want you guys to do. There is a bonus that I give to everyone on this webinar, and it's my uh, free seven-figure joint venture checklist. This is a checklist that I only ever give to either my high-end clients or my um, certified brokers or my high-end um, uh, program. So um, I'm willing to give you guys a copy of that as long as you stay till the end of the webinar. Um, I will tally up at the end how many people have stayed. I get a report from that. And um, if you stay until the end, I will have your email address and uh, we'll be able to get you on that. So first of all, uh, let's talk about joint ventures. And uh, if most of you have heard of the term joint ventures, um, let's go through exactly what it is. Now, a joint venture is an arrangement of mutual benefit between two or more people or businesses who have complementary resources. Uh, now, firstly, what does that mean? I always give an example of a joint venture being um, exactly what it says here, a, a arrangement of mutual benefit between two or more people or businesses who have complementary resources. Now, a good example for this is um, you have a luxury bathroom tile manufacturer and a luxury bathroom suite manufacturer. Now, both these companies, they offer um, uh, basically the same, nor less complementary products, but they share the same resources as in the customers. They'll have the same customers who will be interested in both products. And this is how a joint venture can be put together between these two companies. When you have more than two companies, the third party is known as a joint venture broker. And this is exactly what I do. I come in and I identify an opportunity by putting two companies together and then I take a cut or a commission as my broker fee from whatever business is made between these two businesses. So let's look first of all um, at what a business's most valuable asset is. Now, what I want you to do in the chat box right now is write for me what do you think is a business's most valuable asset? So just write in the chat box for me right now and let's see what uh, you guys think is a business's most valuable asset. Okay, Brian says, Brian says people, Doug says goodwill, Craig says customer list, um, Brian says customer list also, Jerry says client, uh, Ritesh, customer list, Gene, list, Michael says relationships, um, Adam says clients. Okay, so this is interesting because um, you often hear the, um, uh, the term, uh, you know, the money is in the list. And most of you have written down a customer list. But here's the thing. What the answer actually is, is the relationship that the business owner has with his customers. So, you know, you've heard of the term the money's in the list. The money's actually is in the relationship that you have with the list. This is the most valuable asset that can be leveraged, okay? So when a business is sold, this asset is valued on the balance sheet. It's called goodwill. And I've noticed one or two of you have, of, or wrote good, goodwill also. Now, here's the thing to think about. It costs six times as much to sell to a new buyer. Now, what this means is basically, as we all know, you have to spend a lot of money um, uh, on lead generation to acquire clients. Now, that is a big cost up front. Okay, If any of you guys have a business or have clients that you work with, the biggest cost will be lead generation, bringing that first client on board. So it costs six times as much to sell to a new buyer. Okay, so, so think about that. However, once you have that customer and you sell to them again, that is now pure profit because you've covered your uh, lead generation cost. Okay. However, if you use someone else's list, the cost is zero. Okay, because you're not spending money to acquire that customer by marketing. You're actually getting another company to go out and acquire the customer for you, and they're actually doing it on your behalf, and it's costing you nothing. And most of the profit is yours because there's no advertising costs. All you do is you split the um, uh, split the, the profit or split the sale with that joint venture partner, but there's no acquisition cost up front. So this is not costing you anything up front to go and do a joint venture. Okay, this is this is the most powerful thing about joint ventures. Now let's look at some of the benefits of joint ventures. Now joint ventures allow you to compensate weaker areas in your business without any nominal investment. Now what does that mean? 
that basically means that if you are looking to expand and grow your business and you say, well, we haven't got the funds to grow or we can't afford to invest in a new call center or a new uh, system, you can always go to another company, partner with them and actually utilize the resource that they have for free and give them a, a cut of any sales or any profits made. This is more of a guarantee for you because if you don't make the sales and if there's no sales made, there's no uh, there's no cost up front to you. So this is the, one of the most amazing things about joint ventures. It also allows you to take advantage of unlimited skills and resources. What that means is basically once you've done one joint venture, you can take the same concept to another company and say, hey, we partnered with X and we did a joint venture with them and it was successful and now we'd like to do the same with you. So you can literally take the same model or the same joint venture that you've created and go to several companies and do joint ventures with all of them. This is what we primarily do as joint venture brokers. It also allows you to boost your lead client generation and profits very, very quickly. And I'm going to take you through a few case studies of how we've generated leads for free using joint ventures. It also allows you great brand new potential for free. Now, one of the quickest ways to get known as an authority, as an expert, is to team up with somebody who already is a key influencer. Okay, and that's some of the things, one of the things that I've done to become successful in such a short space of time. And again, I'm going to take you through a few case studies of how I've done that. And finally, it allows you to make money out of thin air. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, joint ventures allows you to make money out of thin air without having anything to start off with. And I'm going to show you and prove to you how that is true and how you can also do that also. Let's look at some of the benefits of being a JV broker. Basically, this is what I do. As a JV broker, I make lots of money by simply being a middleman, a middle person. I don't need to spend years building my customer list or even I don't even create my own products. Okay, I don't need to keep track of sales. I don't chase people for money. I don't fulfill product orders. I mean, this is one of the best businesses in the world to be in. All I do is just step in, leverage other people's resources, and make good profits and huge profits by just bringing people together. So this is quite interesting. I'm going to talk more about this later on, about why um, becoming a JV broker and dealmaker is one of the best businesses that you can ever have in the world. So before we uh, start on some training, I just want to take you through my own story of how I got into joint ventures and how I became one of the world's top joint venture experts. Um, this is me in 2006. Um, this was the height of my success. I built an eight-figure business using joint ventures, a very successful business. And um, you know, when I was younger, I always wanted to have you know the big house, uh, you know the Ferrari, the Porsche, the Bentley. And in 2006, I achieved all that. You know, I had the big 12-bedroom mansion. I had the Ferrari and a Porsche and a Bentley, and life was amazing. You know, I had achieved everything I ever wanted to in life. And I did that by using partnering, strategic partnering, and joint ventures. Then in 2008, during the recession, I lost everything. Um, made a business decision, um, and I ended up losing everything. I lost everything. I lost the business. I lost my um, beautiful house I lived in. I lost all my cars and was literally totally broke. Um, and I know some of you are listening on this webinar have gone through something similar. So I, I hope I can really inspire you also. And then in 2009, uh, I set myself a challenge to make a million dollars in 12 months, and I actually did it in 30 days. I completed a, um, a $1.5 million JV deal, uh, which just took me 30 days to do uh, in 2009. And I was very, very fortunate enough to get back on my feet very, very quickly. Okay, and I, I want to just take you through my own personal story of how I did that. Twofold, there's two reasons for that. One is to inspire you, um, and number two is to give you a insight into how powerful joint ventures are and what you can actually do with them to create some really, really good wealth. So I want to take you back in terms of how I started and how I got into this field. And the slides will stay the same so don't worry if you don't see the slides changing I'm just going to talk over this particular slide now I, I started life as a, off as an accountant many many years ago and I spent a lot of time working at a big accountancy firm in um, in the city but most of my time was spent 
really helping people how to use computers. I didn't really enjoy being an accountant, but it's something that I did because my parents wanted me to become an accountant. But to be honest with you, I didn't really enjoy it that much. So I left my job as an accountant and I did a, a master's in information technology with business. And I then um, uh, wrote a thesis on the impact of the internet um, on the manufacturing industry. And this is, uh, you know, something that I did when, um, you know, I did my master's. And this was back in 1996, 97. And my professor posted my thesis online. And then I started getting um, bombarded with emails from venture capital firms, dot com companies, etc., asking me, we read your thesis. We want to find out how we can make money using this thing called the internet. So, you know, 1997, um, 98, I was out there basically consulting with a lot of big companies. Um, QVC.com was one, one of my first clients. And life was great. You know, 1998, we had so much business we were doing. We were basically internet consultants. And each contract that we had was between, you know, twenty and $40,000. So I spent a lot of time um, helping companies how to use the internet. and um, this was from 1998 to basically 2000. And it was interesting because what I also did was I set up an online website selling computer training courses, which were just PDF files downloaded. It was a very basic e-commerce site. And as you know, Google launched in 1998. And um, I, we started to get listed on the first page of Google straight away. And we were making really good money. So we had a website that was making us money. We used that as a showcase to talk to our e-commerce clients and told them that um, you know this is how uh, it actually works and this is how um, you know e-commerce e works. So from 98 to 2000 we had a great run, and then 2000 we had the not only the dot-com bubble burst but we also had Y2K. So those two things happened and we lost a lot of our clients. And basically what happened was we ended up you know making a decision early 2000 in terms of what do we do now now. This will happen to you in your business, or this may happen to you in your life at some time. So you have to look at and see what you have existing and how you can leverage that. So even though we started losing a lot of consulting clients, we looked at this small little e-commerce website that we had selling computer training courses that was making between you know four and five thousand dollars a month. We decided to focus on that, and we said, you know, let's build this into a real business. So 2000, early 2000, I came across a really cool book. And you might want to write this down. It's called How to Get Everything You Can Out of All You Got by a guy called Jay Abraham, who obviously is one of my uh, one of my mentors. In the book, Jay spoke about something called strategic alliances and joint ventures and how you could go out and do strategic alliances with companies and basically not pay anything up front and no, with no risk involved. And the other company would promote your product or service and you would just pay them out from the sales and the profits. So I thought this is quite amazing. This is a really interesting concept. So I went out to do it. So early 2000, I approached the biggest IT recruitment agency in Europe, and I basically just sent them this email. You know, how can I, if I could, uh, if I could uh, create an additional um, revenue stream for you without increasing your overheads, would you be interested? They said yes. So I got invited to speak to this company. I went to go and see them in central London. And there was, uh, a, you know, a, a few directors at the meeting. They asked me this, this question: "So, so hell, how can you uh, create an additional revenue profit stream for us without increasing our overheads?" I said, "Well, it's simple. It's called a joint venture." Uh, then I asked them how many people they had on their database. They said they had, you know, over 150,000 IT professionals on their um, on their on their database. And I said, "Okay, so what are you currently doing right now?" They said, "Well, we send out a, a news bulletin every two weeks." And um, we just put jobs in there. I said, look, the IT industry right now is, is at a downturn, okay? And you're not really getting jobs to promote. So if that's your main revenue stream, you're in trouble. I can create another revenue stream for you. What I want you to do is promote my computer courses to your database. And for everyone that you sell, we will give you a percentage. So, you know, they said, yes, okay, but... How much is that going to cost us? I said, well, it's costing you nothing because you're already sending out a newsletter. I'm not increasing your overhead. Just put the banner in there and we'll take care of the rest. So we, we did this joint venture with this company and it was very, very successful. 
we did all the tracking we provided them with the tracking for the sales we sent them a check every month and you know in the first year of our small e-commerce website computer training website we did something like you know sixty seventy thousand dollars in in our second year with this first joint venture our turnover went up close to four hundred thousand dollars so I thought wow this is amazing so I was hooked you know on joint ventures now fast forward to 2002 the whole industry changed and now companies were doing video based training and we said you know what we want to do more corporate sales but we need to invest in video based training so we went out we looked at a few companies and they were charging us ten thousand dollars per hour of e-learning and we thought you know our competitors had over 160 titles how could we match that we haven't got the the money the investment to be able to do that so again I thought to myself joint ventures one thing I read in Jay's book was something called licensing how you can go out and acquire the rights to something that somebody already has that's proven and you can actually sell that and make money from it so I went out found a company in America in actually in Clearwater Florida um, who had over 150 titles of video training courses and I contacted them I said hey I would like to get a license for your video training uh, for the UK and with a um, uh, uh, with a uh, a white label. White label basically means that we have our logos on all the videos. They said, sure, we can do that, but it's going to cost you a hundred thousand dollars. So I thought to myself, you know what? I don't really want to spend a hundred thousand dollars. How can I get this for next to nothing? So I flew to them out to see them with ten thousand dollars in my pocket. And I remember I got to their office, sat down in their office, and I was waiting for the CEO, who was a, a female CEO, very savvy, in her office, looking into her bookshelf. On her bookshelf, she had some really cool books from Dan Kennedy, Joe Vitale. She also had this book from Jay Abraham. So when I saw that, I thought, wow, this is she's going to understand where I'm coming from when I talk about JVs. So we sat down, we had a meeting, and I managed to convince her to give me a license for the training. And what I did, I said to her, if you let me have the license, I'll make a commitment, a minimum commitment of $10,000 right now to you for the training, and I'll guarantee I'll make you more than $100,000 within the next couple of weeks. So with the license I now had, I flew back to the UK, and we had over 150 titles ready to go. And you know what? That year, we did seven figures. And what was the investment for seven figures? $10,000. So it's quite amazing what you can do with joint ventures and licensing and you know I do this all the time licensing deals is one of the biggest things that I do and get involved in so that was 2002 now we were a seven-figure company okay and then uh, fast forward now to where you see me in this picture with my Ferrari in 2006 I came across a company that had over 500,000 customers on their database so automatically I thought joint venture right so I approached this company, they were a hardware computer company. And I thought, you know what? We do computer training software. This would be an ideal match. So I went to go and see the company. Again, before I got into the meeting, I said, look, if I can create an additional revenue profit stream for you without increasing your overhead, would you be interested? They said yes. So I went to go and see this company, very successful company. They were valued at uh, 160 million dollars okay and um, it was run by a father and son team CEO and um, a chief executive uh, his, his father was the chairman so I got into their meeting and I sat down at this big um, uh, table this big conference table and at the end of the table was the, 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 the chairman and the CEO his son so I started my pitch and said, look, this is what I, I'm, I want to do with you guys. We've done a couple of joint ventures. It's been very successful. I think we can do a really successful JV with you guys. So like five, ten minutes into my pitch, I got stopped. The chairman said to me, look, Sahel, we're not really interested in doing a JV with your company. And I thought, okay, maybe I said something wrong or they're not like the way I look. So as I was getting ready to leave, the CEO stood up and said, actually, Sahel, we're interested in not – doing a JV with your business we're interested in buying your business so I sat there thinking wow you know I had two more partners then so I couldn't make a decision straight away and we managed to go back and we made a decision to give them uh, a, a an equity share so they became a majority equity shareholder we also had shares in their company 
and um, we did the deal. So it's part cash and part equity. And now I sat on the board of 160 million IT group. And this was 2006, and our shares were worth um, in the eight figures. So now we'd all become multimillionaires. Uh, it was a day of you know great success. That was 2006. In 2007, I planned to step down as managing director. And what I did was I doubled the business within the space of 12 months because now I was working on the business rather than in the business. And 2008 was my exit strategy. 2008, I was going to exit the company, take my shares, go to some desert island, sit there and just relax and figure out what I do next. But that didn't happen. In 2008, we had the recession. And as you know, a lot of big companies went to the wall. And this company that my company was a part of, this group company had been around for 25 years, went bust. Basically, overnight they went bust. We, we were made aware of it the day after. They made a decision the night before they were going to liquidate the company. Um, and we only found out the day after. So I ended up losing everything. You know, They took my company down with them. And the banks, uh, we'd signed guarantees with the banks, which was, again, not something that I'd really um, advise anyone not to do. And the banks came after us. So the banks came after me, and I ended up sort of getting rid of all my assets and liquidating my assets and negotiated with the bank to pay them off and avoid bankruptcy. So that happened in 2008, and I lost everything. I went from being a multimillionaire to totally broke. And, you know, it was a very hard time for me because, you know, um, I ended up moving back to my mum's house where my old bedroom was still there, uh, still the same. And, I, I, met, I, I you know, I, sometimes I, I, I make a joke about it. When I speak on stage, I say, you know, my mum kept the room the way it was because she knew I was coming back home one day. And I was very fortunate. I had a roof over my head, but it was a very hard time for me. You know, when you're in survival mode and you're used to living a certain lifestyle and then you don't have the, the capacity and the funds to pay your bills, it can be very, very um, upsetting. And I went through a very bad bout of depression also because I didn't know what to do. And I decided to go on a spiritual journey. So I took some time off um, and I, I tried to go out and find myself. But what I found was that I'm an entrepreneur. And once an entrepreneur, always an entrepreneur. So I came back thinking to myself, you know what? I have to set myself you know, uh, my next challenge. And my next challenge was to get back on my feet as quick as I could. Now, I racked my brains to think, what am I good at? What have I done? And it was obvious, joint ventures, right? You know, I set up a business that was, you know, over eight figures from scratch using joint ventures. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to do a couple of joint ventures and get back on my feet. And I still remember that day because my mum said to me, what are you going to do now? And I said, look, I'm right at the bottom of the floor. I can't go any lower. I, there's only one way I can go and that is up. And then in 2009, I set myself a challenge and I said, you know what? I'm going to do a couple of joint ventures. And I'm going to get back on my feet and I'm going to make a million dollars. But I ended up doing not a couple, but just one big joint venture that basically got me back on my feet in such a short space of time made me over $1.5 million and basically earned me the uh, the term, the joint venture expert. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through that step by step right now, exactly how I achieved it and how you can copy that. Okay? So give me a yes in the chat box if you want to hear exactly how I closed a $1.5 million JV deal um, in 30 days. Obviously, it's going to be yes. Brilliant. Okay. So here we go. So it's very simple. You know, once you have the joint venture mindset, it's like a 360 degree angle. You see joint ventures everywhere and opportunities. So again, I was reading the um, a Sunday uh, um, uh, Sunday newspaper, and I saw a one page ad for a book, and the book was how to use your PC in two hours, and it was aimed at the baby boomer market. Now it wasn't the book that was interesting. At the bottom of the page, it said over 400,000 copies sold. So I thought to myself, okay, look, they've got 400,000 customers that I could probably do something with here in terms of a JV. Now they had a book on how to use your computer. Now remember my background, my previous company was a computer training company, okay? A video-based computer training company. So I thought, you know what, this could be interesting. So I, 
I sent them an email and I said, you know, I have a video based training course that is similar to the book. Would you be interested in supplying that or upselling that to your existing customers who had the book? Now they got back to me and said, this is interesting. Yes, we'd definitely be interested in it. Could you send it to us? Now, I didn't actually have it, okay? It's just an idea. And I managed to get a meeting with the company and I got to go and see them. And the uh, you know the first thing the managing director said to me was, so Sahil, have you got this video course that we can look at? And I said, no, uh, you know, I left it at home. I was in such a hurry. So the manager director looked to me and thought, hang on a minute, is this guy for real? And he said, look, if you can get that to me within the next five days, we'll have a look at it. And if it's good, yes, we'd be probably be willing to um, to upsell it to our existing customers and give you a cut. So I left the meeting thinking, wow, they really want to do a JV. So I went everywhere running around trying to find this DVD. Now, here's the thing with joint ventures. It's not always about the product, it's about the distribution channel. If you can find a channel where you can put a product into, then that's what you want to really do because that's where the millions are made because you can put as many products as you want through a distribution channel. Okay, so that's lesson number one. So I went out looking at um, uh, looking for this computer train DVD. I went to a couple of stores like Office World and Office Max. Couldn't find it. I, all I found was a DVD that was similar but the, the companies I spoke to wouldn't give me a good cut on the margin and wouldn't let me do a white label. So then I went to a website called elance.com, E-L-A-N-C-E.com. And this is a website where you can post projects and you can get other people to do them for you. So I posted a project and said, look, here's the book, here's the contents. I want someone to create a DVD course from it. I got the course created. It cost me $500 was a Camtasia course took it back to the company and they loved it. You know, they loved it so much, the manager director said to me, wow, Sal, this is really cool, it's just like the book. Um, you know, can we get, you know, can we get some more done? And I was like, hey, hang on, sell this one first. If it's successful, we'll create some more. So I asked the managing director, okay, look, so here's the thing, how many of those people on your list do you think we can upsell from the book to the video course? He said, well, I reckon about at least 50% of them. So that's 200,000 people. I then worked out, tried to work out my commission structure with him, and um, they're a direct mail company, so they usually work on a points basis, which is a percentage. I said, look, how much do you want to sell it for? And they said, well, $20. I said, well, give me you know, $7.50 for each one that you sell. You keep the rest, but what I'll do is I'm going to give you a license to the product. You do the, uh, you do the distribution. You do the duplication. You do the marketing. I won't touch any of that. I'll just give you a license and the master DVD and you can do that. And I'll just take $7.50 as my cut. So we ended up doing this joint venture and it was amazing. This joint venture deal, it took us over a period of 12 to 18 months to complete it. But the results were phenomenal. You know, we did just over 201,000 units um, with, the, uh, with the JV deal and I pocketed $1.5 million as my, um, uh, as my commission. The most interesting thing is though, when we did the deal. The manager director said, you know what, if this works really, really well, I'd like to roll this out to my whole database. And I said, database? How big is your database? 4.2 million customers. So this company that I'm working with and I work for, 4.2 million customers is what they have on their database, which is quite phenomenal for a company like that. So let me take you through this step by step and I'll show you again and break it down exactly how this works on the next slide. So here's the million dollar joint venture. I found a list of 400,000 buyers and contacted the company with a JV proposal without a product, okay? Remember, without the product. I ended up using elance.com to create a complimentary product for just $500. I introduced a license of product to the list owner and made $7.50 per unit sold without handling any fulfillment. We did a total of 201,000 units with this and I collected just over $1.5 million as my JV commission. So this was a licensing deal, okay, and licensing, we're going to talk more about that, is one of the most lucrative joint ventures that you can do. And this is something that I always recommend my brokers and my deal makers to do, go into licensing deals. Okay, so a lot of people ask me, um, okay, that's, that's good, that's an offline deal, what about online? So here's the seven-figure launch I was involved in uh, by brokering a deal. So here's a friend of mine called Chris Fowle, 
He's a, 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 Brit, a, Brit, a Brit guy living in Beverly Hills. I, uh, Chris Farrell contacted me and said, yeah, you're the joint, joint venture guy. You can connect people and broker deals. I want you to put, put me in touch with uh, a guru. And it was this guy here, another friend of mine, Mike Fulsane. So I put these two guys together. They launched affiliate.com. And we made just over $4 million with that uh, launch. So that's a deal that I brokered in the background, put together. And that's what the potential was. That's, what, that's actually what we made from that deal. So doing joint ventures is very, very lucrative. Okay. Um, recently, I was paid $30,000 for one day JV consulting for uh, an, uh, a client of mine in New York. And they even put us up in the Mandarin Oriental uh, overlooking um, Central Park. And this is the view from our suite. And they paid for that suite, $5,000 a night they, they paid for that suite. Now, this is something that I teach a lot of my brokers and deal makers to go out and do the consulting deals also because consulting, it's short term, but you make a lot of money from it as well. I was in Paris um, last year and I decided to buy, um, who was then my fiance, a, uh, a Valentine's gift with just one JV deal that I closed. I basically said to her, if I close this deal, I'll buy you something, you know, and I'll buy you something when we're in Paris. So the deal came through, the the money was deposited into my account, and um, I bought her a, a diamond ring, um, which was a, was a five-figure present uh, for Valentine's Day. And that I did from just one deal. Now, last year um, and the year before that, basically, we were living in Dubai. We moved to Dubai, and I launched a brand new business in Dubai while living on the Palm. Um, and that business, there's another case study. Uh, if you go to YouTube, you can see the case study there. But basically, before we even got into Dubai, we launched a company um, using joint ventures, and it was phenomenal. We did uh, launched a six-figure business in Dubai uh, even before we got there. So this is pretty cool things that you can do with JVs. You can go anywhere in the world. I mean, you can put, drop me off anywhere in the world. And I'll create a new business from scratch um, using joint ventures. It's absolutely phenomenal what you can do. Also recently, we visit Los Angeles a lot. And I'm in Las Vegas and Los Angeles every quarter, um, every year. And we decided to get a holiday home in Malibu. Now, <coughs> this is a place where we were staying at in Malibu, overlooking Carbon Beach. And we've actually made, a, uh, made an offer on this place. So Malibu is uh, our holiday home. And is you know uh, it, hopefully fingers crossed will be, uh, but we spend a lot of time here in Malibu and uh, Los Angeles as well. But Malibu is my favourite place, and this is all possible from doing deals and joint venture deals. Okay, let me te teach you um, some techniques on how to do some really really powerful uh, joint venture networking. So a few years ago, I was invited to my good friend um, Yannick Silvers. Uh, underground event, uh, one of the most amazing events I've ever been to. The 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 caliber of entrepreneurs at this event is phenomenal. So I was invited there to help facilitate some JVs. So when I got there at this uh, event, before I even got into the room, people started approaching me and asking me to help them with JVs. So I had a queue of people on my right hand side showing me their products and telling me, look, this is what they want to do. Can I help them find JV partners? And then on my left hand side, basically, someone tapped me on my shoulder, walked up to me and said, you know, my name is, uh, my, you know, my name is Jay. I'm basically affiliate manager for, you know, for Ryan Dice. And, um, uh, you know, I'd like to talk to you, Sahel, if that's possible. And, um, you know, if we can sit down and have a conversation. I know you're very busy right now, but I'd like to, you know, uh, uh, buy you lunch or dinner. Is that OK? So I said, look, I've just got in now and, you know, uh, you know, lunch is fine. Let's do lunch. She said, OK, fine. I'll see you down in the restaurant for lunch and uh, you know I'll see you then he walks off and then I'm like okay someone just invited me for lunch uh, that's fine I walk to my I, I, I look to my right hand side and I'm still talking to these people showing me their products another guy walks on to on to my left hand side he's the uh, JV manager for uh, Nitro marketing and he says well you know I know you're very busy so hell but I just wanted a few minutes of your time is it okay if I buy you lunch or dinner and I said well lunch is taken but you know you're welcome to buy me dinner so what I learned from this was, you know, if you want to get someone's attention and someone's time, you give them something first. So these guys obviously bought me lunch and dinner. And now I felt um, that I had to reciprocate and give them my time, right? So that's called the law of reciprocity. And a good friend of mine, Robert Cialdini, has wrote an amazing book 
called The Psychology of Influence. You definitely want to get this book if you want to learn about influence. And in it, he says, as human beings, we always like to reciprocate. It's called the law of reciprocity. So I learned some of these techniques at Yannick's event. And just after Yannick's event, I was invited to a, a mastermind in Tampa at this place here. Uh, the biggest house in Tampa, 40,000 square foot Avila Mansion. That's the front door. That's the view overlooking uh, the lake for breakfast. And they have a full size um, basketball court in the house also. So I got invited to this uh, mastermind, uh, 20K, 25K mastermind, to help to help them with JVs. Now, bear in mind, in the room, you have a lot of multimillionaires. Now, part of this 25K mastermind, you also get to have one hour with a billionaire, the guy who owns this house. Now, the billionaire comes in and sits down at the table, and everyone around him, he starts telling them his story about going from rags to riches, how he uh, is good friends with, uh, you know, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, and you know he tells his story. And then at the end, he gets up and he says to everyone, "I hope you really enjoyed that, and you know, I wish you every success in your business." And as he gets up, everyone starts approaching him on his right hand side and handing him his business cards. Now, as they're handing him the business cards, he's putting them on a table behind him. I walk up to him on his left hand side, tap him on the shoulder, and say, "Paul, I know you're very busy." And a lot of people want to talk to you, but is it possible for us to have breakfast in the morning? He says, yes. Calls over his assistant, says, can you uh, book us in for breakfast in the morning and organize that for me in Sahel? And I walk off. In the evening, I come back to the boardroom. And guess what's still sitting in the back of the room? Everyone's business cards. Okay, so networking and connecting with people. It's not always made by just shoving your business card or your products at them. You've got to build a relationship and you have to give something first if you want someone to reciprocate. And, you know, the next morning I had breakfast, two hours with a billionaire who's, uh, you know, a good friend. And I learned so much from him. And it was an amazing time for me to have that time with him or else I would have never had that time. So this is a, a real good strategy and technique that you can use if you want to go out and connect with people at that level. I use the same technique to um, network, network actually, and connect with J. Conrad Levinson. So I went on a, a, a mastermind cruise a few years ago, and Jay was um, one of the keynote speakers, and also Michael Gerber was there. Now, Michael Gerber was impossible to get in touch with. He had such a big entourage. But Jay was so cool. He would spend time with everyone, sit with everyone. And what I didn't want to happen was I didn't want Jay – to see me as a groupie, even though I was a big fan of his. So what I did was I waited since till he was alone one day, and I said, look, Jay, I know you're very busy. I know a lot of people want to talk to you. Is it possible for us to have dinner together sometime? Jay said yes, and I walked off. That evening, Jay was sitting in the dining hall with his family, and we were told not to disturb him when he was with his family. And Jay called me over and said, Sahel, come and meet my family. So I sat with Jay. We had dinner. Jay introduced me to his family, told me about his really, really cool stories of when he used to work in some of the top ad agencies. And I shared some of my stories. And I told Jay, look, I, I've got this book that I've been trying to get off the ground for the last two years. And I've just been trying to figure out, you know, um, who do I, you know, write it with? And Jay said, look, I'd be interested. Send me the book. So I sent Jay the book. He loved it. And you know what? We ended up writing the book together. And we finished the book actually a few weeks just before he passed away in 2013. And the book was launched last year in 2014 and became a number one international bestseller. So that's the book on the right hand side there, Greater Marketing and Joint Ventures, which I co wrote with uh, my uh, late mentor, J. Conrad Levinson. So let's talk about the joint venture mindset. Before we go into some, uh, some advanced training, I want to just take you through the joint venture mindset. Okay, this is what you need to understand. Uh, when you're going out there creating joint ventures. If you don't have the right mindset or success mindset, you're going to definitely fail, okay? And one of the ways to achieve that is by having uh, something called visualization and manifesting the successful outcome that you want from doing deals or going out and doing business. And if you want to attract the energy of opportunity and success, then, you know, use affirmations. So some of the affirmations that I use, especially when I'm speaking on stage or with my own group, is... And you can repeat this after me if you want to. I'm the right person in the right place at the right time doing the right things with the right people. 
I'm aware of and open to unlimited joint venture opportunities. I'm involved in the best high level joint venture opportunities. So, you know, always see yourself as adding value to others. That's how you become successful. Okay, so let's look at some training. Let me just have a sip of water before I begin. Okay. So tell me how you how is everyone finding the training so far? Give me a, a, a give me some feedback in the in the uh, chat box if that's okay. And um, <clears throat> I'm gonna reveal some really really cool stuff. I'm gonna I'm basically gonna blow your mind on some of the things that you're gonna learn. <clears throat> Let's have a look quickly before we begin. Love it, great. Love the networking stuff. I'm gonna be using that. Awesome. I know a few millionaires, but no billionaires. <laughs> okay, cool, brilliant. Okay, so let's begin. Let's carry on. Okay, so find your potential joint venture partners. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you a few um, uh, places where you can go to find uh, uh, targeted joint venture partners. One of the places you can look at is existing mailing lists, customer lists, or newsletters. Now, one of the reasons why it's one of the best places is because these companies already have a relationship with their customers, they've done business with them, and this can be leveraged. So if you're in UK and Europe, a site where you can find mailing lists is highlightdms.co.uk. If you're in US and Canada, it's mediafinder.com. And if you want to go and look for uh, newsletters that you can contact to find joint venture partners, it's new-lists.com, okay? So here's an example. Um, when you go to Highlight, for example, they're a mailing list broker. You can see if you search for, you know, let's say uh, the health industry, then you can see this company here, Maximiles. They have 892,000 customers on the. These are customers, paid customers on the database, and you can see the base price is 120 pounds. Well, let's say $150 per thousand names. So if you wanted all a million names, that's going to cost you a lot of money. They also have on their website their their um, website address, and I'm going to show you later, later on how you can get access to these lists for free without having to pay for them. Okay? Seminars and paid events are good because I'll tell you why. You can meet and network with a lot of serious people and motivated people at these places. And the higher the price the seminar, the more players you'll meet. That's why I don't go to free events anymore. I go to paid events either as a VIP or I pay to get into events because I want to network with that high level, high caliber um, people. So here are two questions you need to ask when you go to seminars and paid events. The first one is the icebreaker question. When you meet someone, say to them, hi, Dave, uh, tell me, how did you get started as a blank? Whatever they are. Second question after that you should ask is, all right, Dave, that sounds really great. How can I help you sell more of your product or service? Okay, so these are the only two questions you never need to, ever need to ask. And this is what I teach all my brokers and my deal makers when they go out there to find new clients. And it works like gangbusters. Social media is also good. You can find a lot of professionals and directly you can uh, also um, uh, connect with key people, key persons of influence and influencers as well. So. You can use LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and this is a technique that I use all the time, and this is what I do on Facebook. I go to Facebook, I connect with people who are key influencers in my industry, I promote them, and I recommend them. I keep doing that until they come back and they say, oh, thank you very much for that, that's really, really cool. One of the things I do also is I may give them a copy of my book, for example, and uh, I'll say, look, you, you, you should really have a look at this, I, I think it will really help you. And they come back and say, well, thank you very much for giving me your best-selling book. What can I do for you? And when they do that, I start a dialogue with them, and then I take them across to Skype. And that's when I build my relationship. And, you know, this has accounted for more than 75% of my business through Facebook and LinkedIn and has provided me with some, you know, seven-figure deals. And this is how I produce deals for my brokers in our private group also. So here's an example. Here's a guy called Neil Asher, multi-millionaire who I reached out to, sent him a copy of my book, and he said, thanks for your incredible generosity, Sahel, you're an inspiring man. So, you know, this is how I connect with thought leaders and influencers on social media. 
And this is how I've connected with people like Kevin Harrington, who's a good friend of mine from Shark Tank, Brian Tracy, Joe Vitale, Ken Blanchard, even Brendan Bouchard. I spoke with Brendan Bouchard uh, about a year and a half ago at an event in Chicago on stage with Brendan Bouchard, he's, he, and he's now a good friend of mine. Also, Tom Hopkins. And these are guys that have given me um, uh, endorsements and testimonials, uh, and including Robert Cialdini. So it's very powerful. Um, some of the things that you can do using social media and how you can actually, uh, you know, uh, connect with people at that level. And this is something that, um, uh, you know, I teach um, all, all my clients and all my uh, um, students on my programs. So let's look at finding potential joint venture partners using Google. Google is really good. Okay, you can use Google to, Google to narrow down and target joint venture partners. Uh, through their search results using Google, uh, code, okay, Google.com or Google wherever you are in which country. So here's what I do. Step one, I write a list of keywords that closely match my targeted market. Then take each keyword and what you do is you do the following search to find suitable JV partners. So let's say your um, target market is personal development and you want to find people with newsletters. You type in Google personal development plus sign newsletter. You do the same with plus forum, plus blog. Okay. Now, what you do now is you'll have a search on your screen and you have a list of results. On the right hand side, you have the paper click ads. They're, some, they're the best ones to reach out to because they're already spending money on advertising and marketing. And what you do is you put their website domain into this website, whois.domaintools.com. Now, remember I told you um, how to get access to um, lists for free well if you find a good list on a list broker site don't buy the list take the website down and then put it into this who is dot domain tools and it'll tell you the contact person to contact for the website and you what you do is you contact them directly to do a JV with them without paying for the list okay <clears throat> this website is great because it will tell you their Alexa ranking ranking whether they're blacklisted how long they've been around, their visitors and contact details. And this is what we primarily use to get all those information for finding joint venture partners. So step three is now if you've got plenty of JV partners ready to contact, you want to put them in a pile, A, B, or C. A is the ideal partners with large lists or traffic. B is the second group of potential JV partners. And C, let someone else contact the other ones. Okay? Now, when you're contacting potential joint venture partners, here's what you do. First of all, email is a great technique to reach out to joint venture partners. It's easy and cheap and practical. However, most business owners receive a lot of junk mail, so they don't always read proposals, okay? So don't have emails as your only mode of contact. The best one that we use is FedEx or Special Delivery because this is good for contacting potential partners. And it also gets past the gatekeeper and it gets their attention and it gets opened. As long as you mark on it, urgent, please hand deliver. If you're ever going to use the phone to contact potential joint venture partners, only do it after you've sent your proposal out. And you should only do it to get your partners on the phone to accept the proposal. Never pitch your proposal on the phone unless you know the person very well. Okay? Now here's my take on agreements and joint venture contracts. First of all, NDAs. Some people like to use them. Uh, NDAs are good because it legally stops other people ripping off your trade secrets, IP, or even your entire sales process. <coughs> so unless you're covering this, then there's no need for an NDA. When it comes to joint venture contracts, only start drafting the agreement once the deal has been done and solidified and you have a confirmation to go ahead. Okay? So let's look at some case studies now in terms of how joint ventures work. So I met Kim on Mike Phil Sainz Marketers Cruise and we had a brief conversation over dinner about what I do in JV brokering. So Kim contacted me two weeks after the cruise and said, look, you know, I'm, 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 I'm uh, you know, working two or three jobs to raise money for medical school. There must be an easier way for me to raise money for medical school. So I had a strategy session with her and rolled her onto one of my JV coaching programs and I also connected her with a few of my own contacts, which is what I do. Six weeks later, she got back to me and said, well, you know what, I put my first JV deal together, and she put a product owner and a list owner together. 
The product was a $99 a month membership site and in her first week she did 262 sales and took 20% as a cut. She made $5,000 in the first week. And don't forget, this is recurring. So that end of that first month, she made about $20,000. She was then approached by a vodka, high-end vodka drinks company who was trying to find suitable partners. And this is when she was working in Miami. So she said, everyone, she said to everyone, I'm a JV broker. She got approached. She, she then put together a proposal and she JV'd his drinks into the top nightclub chains in Miami, making $35 a case. And uh, she ran the contract through me, and we put in a minimum order of 2000 for each contract, and she made a minimum of $70,000 with that deal. And the funny thing was she said to me, you know, why am I studying to become a doctor when I can make more money doing it, being a JV broker? And I said, no, listen, stay at school, because if you don't, your mum and dad are going to chase me down the road with a, with a cricket bat saying, you know, my, son, my daughter wanted to become a doctor, and now she's a JV broker. Case study number two, this is Mark. He completed my JV coaching program, was originally doing, looking to do a small joint venture. After a strategy session, I said, look, why don't you just go all out and aim high, you know, go for it. So he went through his own database and found a teddy bear manufacturer on his list. He then contacted one of the largest gift suppliers in the UK with a proposal. And the gift supplier ordered 60,000 teddy bears in year one, and Mark picked up his commission of $45,000. Now, the funny thing was I said to him, I don't understand what gift supplier doesn't have teddy bears, but apparently they were Bob Marley teddy bears. So it was it was something quite unique. Here's another case study. Dan enrolled onto my JV broker program. After he had a strategy session, he said, "Look, how quick can I make money doing JVs?" I said, "Well, you can make JVs really quickly if you do an online JV." So he approached one of the UK's biggest uh, internet marketing event organizers with a proposal. He then contacted me and said. Can I help him connect some JV partners for a webinar? So they did a 60-minute webinar, and at the end of 60 minutes, they had a, they had sales of $50,000 on the webinar, and Dan picked up 25% of his JV commission from the webinar. So it was really, really quick JV he did, and he made some quick money on that. This is my most successful student. John enrolled on the JV broker program. He was already involved in some big real estate deals, but wanted to put together corporate JV deals. So he approached a company, a software company in Ireland, and connected them with a major distribution company in the US. He closed that deal at $2 million in his first year and took 15% as his JV broker commission. He then closed another deal, just over, under a million dollars with Microsoft. Okay, So he's done really, really well. He's one of my most successful students who just does seven-figure deals. Here's some recent case studies. This is Adam who came on my um, uh, last JV broker program in March. And Adam decided to do a joint venture workshop for business owners using training slides, which I provided. I provide all my brokers with um, uh, training slides that they can use. As a result of that, he picked up three new clients from that um, training. And one of the clients uh, is interested in finding out how JVs can help the NFL and NBA associations. So these could be pretty huge JV deals. This is another recent JV deal. And Esther enrolled onto my JV broker program. He decided to use something called the white label JV book strategy to land JV consulting deals. He then teamed up with Alex, who's also in my program, um, and conducted the number of webinars and workshops together. The clients they picked up will be going through their JV consulting process, which I've taught them. And each of those clients will generate between thirty to $50,000 each for consulting. So that's pretty cool. So here's a question. Would you like to become my next joint venture broker? Put a, a yes in the chat box and um, let me know if you would like to know more about how to become a successful joint venture broker and deal maker. Awesome. OK, so here we go. So early 2011, I started my first JV brokering business program. And now over 70 JV brokers have been trained worldwide. And you know, we need more JV brokers because I get I'm getting bombarded with deals on a regular basis. So we need more brokers. So April 2015 was my last brokering boot camp in Las Vegas. And here's my team from that um, program. Um, uh, as you can see here, masterminding. So my three-day program is not only just a straight program. We do a lot of masterminding. We do a lot of, um, uh, uh, you know, a lot of role play, 
and it's it's a very very cool um, cool boot camp. So my next boot camp is in July 2015, uh, my JV Broker boot camp, and it includes three days of live JV Broker training, unlimited coaching and support. There's no extra fee for that. And something that I do, which is quite unique, that nobody else does, is that I hand you your first JV deal and I hand you regular JV deals worth at least six figures. Okay, so I'm putting JV deals into my private brokering group on a regular basis to help you get your investment back in the program straight away. You also get my JV brokering home study program, my JV templates and agreements, and my client lead generation system that I use myself to get high end clients. Also exclusively you get my white label lead generation JV book. So you'll get a copy of this book here in your own name, a white label that you can go out and get clients for. So you'll have your own ready-made joint venture book. You'll also get some uh, white label workshop slides that I use in some of my training for my corporate clients. And you'll also get a copy of my seven figure JV consulting letter that I use to send to clients and I get corporate clients who pay me $30,000 for one day's consulting. Now I pay $10,000 for this letter to get it produced. So you're gonna get a copy of that also on this program. So here's a couple of testimonials from my bootcamp. Having a real JV deal to work on was the main reason behind me signing up. I've already made back my investment. I would never be able to become this successful at Broken JVs if it wasn't for the live training and support from Sahel. And there's a couple of cool testimonials with results from a couple of my students on my programs. This is from Mary Kay Allen. Sahel's course was a three-day immersion into JV brokering. The way Sahel presents it is excellent because he breaks it up into segments each day. The groups are small, which is nice, and it's very interactive. Sahel is so competent in this field, I wish I could have cloned him. He really is a master and explains everything so well. When you are finished on the third day, you really feel that you can do this. I really would recommend this program because Sahel really delivers from his end. It would be up to you to take action and he's with you every step of the way. He makes it clear that the weaker calls are a must from the beginning and this has been great for me because it's about accountability. With other very expensive programs I have purchased, it was after the course you are sent out on your own with no personal one-on-one -on -one like Sahel offers. So I offer a lot of support to all my brokers in my program. I provide them with a private brokering group and I also provide them with regular deals that they can work on to get their investment back um, very, very quickly. Now here's a recent testimonial from Murray who was in my um, April, uh, April group. So how does create a foolproof system with unbeatable support and a powerful community of like-minded brokers to launch me on the fire track to success? After attending his bootcamp in a few short weeks, I've already created two deals with a financial planner joint venture partner. In both deals, we are partnered with CPAs, one deal via LinkedIn, and the other via an evergreen webinar system run by a CPA marketer. Just for seizing the opportunity of collecting these parties, I'm getting 50% of all commissions from the financial planner for all the clients that he gets from the CPAs I connect him to. My commissions will vary from $1,000 to $20,000. We, we have set the deals up so they are virtually on autopilot. So now I can move on to other opportunities, including some amazing deals that Sahel is actually helping us set up. Did I mention that I have no list, no website, and I work 60 hours a week in a full-time job? There is no opportunity like this out there. Thanks to Sahel's training, I now see the world in a different light. So this is really cool, guys. You can um, you can uh, uh, broker deals and, 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 and do consulting part-time or full-time. <clears throat> so here's the, here's the deal. My program is strictly limited to 12 places only. I always cap it because I want to work with each of you one-to-one -one over the three days. So my next JV Brokering Business Bootcamp three-day live program is in Vegas, and it's 31st of July to 2nd of August. Now, if you tally up all what you get, the total value of the package is about $250,000. And I normally sell this for $10,000, and some people have actually paid $10,000 to come to this program, and people do pay that. But today I'm doing something quite amazing. I'm now providing you with live JV deals, which means that I want to help you get your return on your investment quickly by providing you with joint venture deals in our private brokering group. The only thing is you split anything you make on the deals I give you with me 50-50. Because I don't really make my money on my programs. I make my money on the deals. That's where I make my money. 
and there's more. For all of you guys on this webinar, I'm doing a special offer, okay? My three-day JV brokering business bootcamp, which normally sells for $10,000. Now, I've only got 10 seats left because before the webinar, I had two people sign up. Actually, before the webinar, even we did this training webinar. So I just have 10 seats left now for my three-day JV brokering business bootcamp in Las Vegas on the 31st of July to the 2nd of August. Instead of $10,000, if you're, if you're ready to go, move forward quickly and you want to be within those first 10, you pay just $7,000, which is about £4,500 for the training and the support. And I give you the deals also, which is split with me 50-50. Or you could pay in two payments and still split the deals with me 50-50, okay? I've also got a money-back guarantee. If you attend the three-day boot camp and if you feel that you'll not be able to benefit from the training and support, you can ask for your money back at the, day, at the end of day one. Okay, so I do have a money-back guarantee on the boot camp also. So I'm giving you a hell of a lot here. And people even say to me, you know, I was on the phone uh, just yesterday with a guy um, and he said to me, when he heard about the price, he said to me, um, you know, this is, uh, this is really, really cheap uh, for what you're doing. And it is. Uh, the reason being is it used to be a $15,000 program. Uh, then I dropped it to 10K. But now what it is, I make my money on the back end. Okay, that's where I make my money. So I want to get good people into my program that are willing to do the work and willing to do the work on the deals that I give you. But also you can go out and do your own deals. I have brokers doing their own consulting, doing their own deals using my book strategy, uh, white label, and you know you can do that. But I'll also provide you with deals. I have a couple of deals in the group right now that people are working on with minimum commissions of about $3,000. So if you just did one deal, um, uh, if I gave you one deal to work on, you'd make that $7,000 back within 60, 60 to 90 days, okay? And it's only costing you $7,000 for the program if you make that decision to move forward very, very quickly. So this is just for the first few people who are looking to make a decision uh, from this webinar. So what's the next step? So here's the thing. If you're serious, ask yourself this question. What is it actually costing you today where you are? My program is normally $10,000. If you get in, uh, get in fast track, you pay $7,000. Now, what is it actually costing you? You know, is it costing you? Is that $7,000, which is what you're going to spend? Is it going to cost you more not to come onto my program? And how much money are you really losing? You know, by not investing $7,000 or $10,000 and not making $50,000, $200,000, $500,000, $1 million, what are you really losing? So what I want you to do, if you're really serious about coming on board and joining me and becoming a certified JV broker and deal maker, um, I want you to submit, submit your application below at www.jvconsultingbusiness.com forward slash new application to see if this program is for you. Now, like I said, I've only got 10 spots, so I've got to be very, very careful who I bring onto the program. But you have to fill in that application so we can have a, a talk over the phone. And I'm going to see how I can help you in terms of what you're currently doing right now and if the program is actually a right fit for you. So again, go to that URL if you're interested in the program and you want to get on a call and talk to me more about it and you've got more questions, it's www.jvconsultingbusiness.com forward slash new application. So what I'd like to do right now is um, give, me some, uh, you know, give me some questions. Uh, if you have any questions for me, please put them in the chat box and I'll be able to answer some of your questions. If it's about the program, if it's about brokering in general, if you have any business questions, please put them in the chat box right now and um, you know I'll be able to help you. And what I will do is I'll put the URL again in the chat box uh, for the uh, application if you're interested in coming on the program. Okay, so there's the URL. If you're interested in the program and uh, you want to fill in an application to get on a call with me, that's the URL there. Okay, so here we've got some questions coming up. Um, Jean says, how do, you, how do you ensure you get paid your commissions? <clears throat> okay, from the deals I put in the group, I do all the due diligence on those deals. I do all the, uh, the contracts and the agreements. Um, I also collect the uh, the commissions on those deals and I split them with you. So you don't have to worry about chasing anyone on that. Um, you just go out and do the deal. 
I'll show you how to do the deal. I'll support you on the deal. But anything to do with commissions and getting paid, that's, you, 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 there's a guarantee that you'll get that because I handle all that and I make sure that that gets done. So don't worry about that. So let's see if we've got any more questions. Um, so David says, how is the white label book used? Okay, the white label book basically is if you uh, if you want to get into consulting, I use my book to go out and get corporate consulting clients. So I'll give you a white label version of the book with your name on it, and I'll show you the whole process of how I go out and get client corporate clients using a book as a calling card. And I'll also give you uh, a copy of uh, my consulting letter as well. White label and private label rights is the same. It's exactly the same thing. You'll get the same with that. And also, guys, uh, I have a home study system also. If you're interested in the home study system, definitely still fill, it, fill in that form. Um, go to jvconsultingbusiness.com forward slash new application. If you can't make the boot camp and you want the home study, let me know. I can do that. I can uh, give you more information on the home study also. Let's see if we've got any more questions. Michael says, um, is there any boot camps in the UK any to, anytime soon? Um, I, I used to do boot camps in the UK, Michael, but my main focus really is the US and it's the biggest market. If you are interested in the UK, um, definitely fill in the form. If I have a lot of interest, I will do. I will definitely do one. Um, and if we get some good numbers, then I could probably do a boot camp in the UK. But again, fill in the form. I'll give you some other alternatives um, that you can look at if you want to get onto this, um, uh, you know, into in, into this uh, um, uh, uh, program. So let's have a look. Uh, yes, Sunita. Yes, you can go for the home study if you want to. Just uh, drop me an email or just fill in the form, um, the new application form. I know we have met before, which is great. So just send me an email. Uh, drop me a Facebook message. If you want the home study, I can send you more details on that and a payment link as well. And you can uh, order the home study uh, program. I, do, I don't normally promote it, but if you can't make the boot camp or you can't travel, then the home study is the same. You get everything the same as the high-end program, um, but you get on the, uh, on the home study. Hey guys, still, a lot of you are still on the call, so if you've got any more questions for me, fire away. Like I said, you can ask any questions you want about JVs, JV brokering, deal making, how the program works. But like I said, if any of you guys are really interested in the program, definitely go ahead, uh, fill in that form um, at jvconsultingbusiness.com forward slash new application. Brian says, do you ever invest your own money to make a deal happen to show confidence? Um, you don't have to always invest your own money in deals. That's the great thing with deals, Brian. Most of the deals that come to us, there is already investments involved in that. Um, but you don't have to invest money. You have a skill uh, being a broker or a deal maker, and that basically um, is what you use in terms of not putting money into a deal. So, for example, I have a couple of um, uh, I have some equity stakes in companies where I haven't put money in, but I act as their strategic partnership advisor. So you can use the skill to uh, literally go into companies. Um, Baratinder says, any plans coming to Australia? Again, Australia, I'd love to come. I have been asked a few times. If I get the numbers, then I can definitely will do a boot camp there. But the U.S. is where. I always sell out my boot camps, so this is one of the reasons why I do them in the U.S. all the time. Um, but yeah, Australia sounds good. If you can get more people together, I'd definitely love to come to Australia. If not, you can just go for the home study program. Um, the home study program is the same program, but you just don't get the live element. You get all the training on DVDs, uh, on, on video. Guys, any more questions for me before we wrap up? Uh, just give me a feedback in the uh, chat box what you thought of the training. Is this something that you think you can go out and actually do? Uh, are there elements of the training that um, uh, you can use? So I tried to cover as much as I could in a short space of time, and I hope you found it useful. So just let me know in the chat box, and number one, was it useful? Number two, can, do you see yourself actually going out and doing this? Because, you know, I get people who actually go out and try this stuff, and then obviously they come back and say, well, you know, we need more information. Craig says, Craig says, I loved your book. Thank you, Craig. Um, 
I love my book also. I think it's a great book for joint ventures. And I think, uh, to be honest with you, some people can, can actually just go and do JVs um, uh, just using the book. If you buy the book, go out and buy it because it's great. You can actually use most of the content in there to go out and do deals. You know, you don't really need to come like don't really need to come into my boot camp, but the great thing is if you come into my boot camp you get to work with me personally. So, you know, if you want to do that, that's great. Jane says a very useful uh, uh boot camp, definitely worth doing. Yeah, like I say, you know, if you want to get onto the um uh onto the program, then uh you know, go to that URL there, jvconsultingbusiness.com forward slash new application and fill your details in or you know hit me up on Facebook uh, or LinkedIn and I'll give you more information about the program and let's get on a call and see if the program's right for you. I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, Barrington just says, if I can't get onto your boot camp, can I still get the white label book uh, strategy? Yes, you can. Um, I do a home study program and fill that form in and we'll get on a call. I'll tell you more about the home study and you'll get everything that you see that you've seen in today's webinar um, uh, in that in that home study program also. So yes, I will. I do give everyone in my home study program exactly what I sell in my live boot camp. Okay. Um, I, I, I'll give you everything that you see today in the webinar. So yes, I will do that for you. Um, but again, fill, fill, fill the form in. Let's get on a call. I'll take you through the program. Um, and it's the same program. You just don't get the three days live training in Vegas. Like I said, if you can't make it there, just go for the home study. And it's exactly the same thing. You get access to my private broker group and everything that you see and that you've seen in today's webinar, you get access to all that training as well. Hey okay, guys, any more questions before we wrap up? I mean, 90% of you guys are still on this call. So you either love the sound of my voice uh, <laughs> or, you know, you must have questions. And if you've got questions, guys, please ask them. I've only got 10 spots left on this program, so they will fill in very, very quickly. Craig says checklist. Yes, the checklist, um, I'll send you all a link uh, to the replay recording and you'll also get a link for the seven figure checklist as well. So for those of you who have stayed for the checklist, if you don't want to stay anymore, you're welcome to go. But thank you anyway. Um, for those of you who want to move forward and come on to my next boot camp, I only have 10 slots. They'll go quickly. Fill in that form. Let's get on a call and let's see if I can help you in any way and see if the program's right for you. So guys, I think that's it then. I think um, most of you guys are still on here, which is great. Uh, great seminar. I love the training. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, Ron. Great for having you. Great for having you on here. So guys, any last questions before we go? Uh, I hope you found the training really ben beneficial. Ron says, uh, okay, okay, fine, Ron. You've got my contact details. Yeah, you can contact me um, and let me know. Um, uh, and I'll tell you more about the program. Okay, guys, that's it. We're going to call it a day and wrap it up. Guys, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. And for those of you watching the recording of this, please go to www.jvconsultingbusiness.com forward slash new application to get on a call with me, a one-to-one -one call, and we'll talk more about the program. And, you know, we'll see, we'll see what else I can do for you, how else I can help you and see what position you're in and what you need and see if the program is actually right for you. Brilliant. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Wherever you are in the world, have a great morning, afternoon, evening. I hope you enjoyed the training and look forward to speaking to you guys soon and seeing some of you on my boot camp in July in Vegas. Thank you.